now as I drive past these vans here, you'll see a blue box that will show up here that represents the spot between the vans. It'll then ask us to stop the car. And then once we do, it's gonna ask us to confirm that space, which I can do just by pushing on my touchpad right there. And then it's gonna give me the option if I want to back the car into that spot or something new now, I can take it in nose first, facing forward. So we'll go forward, it'll then tell me to engage reverse. And my job is done. Car handles everything for me from here. You're on. not on the brake or anything. Nope. Okay. It puts right here. And then you're gonna notice in a second here, you're gonna see these red dash lines that show up right here at the end of these green lines. That indicates where the car is intending on stopping. So the nice thing about this is, especially if you're a bit of a control freak like I am, the car always tells you what it's thinking while so that way you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, you know exactly where it's going and where it's gonna stop. And it reads the sides of the cars beside us here, and that's how it figures out where I'm about to stop. To try to even out the space. Exactly. And it'll put itself into park and handle all that for us. So say we get out, we go do our thing, and then it's going to ask if we want to exit out facing the right or facing the left. So we'll go left, and then again we'll engage reverse and let it do its thing. Now, a couple notes on this. I can get on the brakes manually if I want to and stop the car. It does not deactivate the system. I can also quite literally floor it, and that won't do anything at all. And as we're backing out here, it will detect for pedestrians and cross traffic, and it will stop for that if it needs to. And you're going to hear a beep in a second here. And that is to tell me that it just gave me the car back. 